So, what we have here today is a few things you can print to add to your TiVo flash to make it a little bit more useful or, or whatever. Anyway, it's a couple of trays that slide in to the extrusion. There's a tray on this side and a tray on this side. And they <coughs> slide in. You simply take the front part off. And I've got stuff in the tray right now. But then you see the tray literally slides out. Looks like this. On the back, you just have a straight lip that slides in. But on the side, there's a, there's a, a lip with a, an upper part, a locking part. So when it slides in, the tray can't move. The cutouts to make room for uh, part of the control board. And on the right side, it'd be for the beeper. On the left side, it's for the SD card holder. But you just line this, these two, uh, in this case, line the bottom one with the extrusion until it slides all the way back. Then the rear one pops in. And you're good to go. Slide them in both sides. And then, of course, put your, your front panel back onto the extrusions, which one like that and then you tighten up the screws but it makes a very attractive uh, finish and it gives you all the space that you can now keep stuff all contained within one. The other thing that you can print that's very useful I found on Thingiverse was a spool holder that slides into the extrusions and there were two things I didn't like about the one on there so I uh, did a remix of it. I've added uh, the original one only bit in the extrusions on the side I've modified it so it also slides into the extrusions on the top. So you're grabbing four different points to anchor it when you slide it on. I slide it on from the front, pull the four uh, frame side bolts up, slide past them, put the four bolts back in. You can see the whole thing. Um, well, I'll move it here in a minute. I'm going to walk to the other side of the camera so I can do this better. But so, let's take this filament off and maybe rotate. How's that? So it screws together the bottom, it prints with no supports. You screw the, the base piece and the side piece together. Comes up, I lined these, this filament guide hole with some PTFE tubing for a knot for slipping. Because without it, when the filament goes by, it grabs on this and it kind of works like the needle on an old record player. You just hear the filament going back and forth. So this makes it more silent. Just line that in there with a little super glue on both sides to form a ridge to hold it in place. Also put a little piece of uh, PTFE tubing into the opening to the bottom drive to the extruder because otherwise eventually since the filament's always going to be pulled up down sideways it's going to just wear through the plastic parts of this. And as those little chunks of plastic might even make it down to your uh, nozzle it could cause a plug. Some other things that you can do is I had a, an old junk piece of plastic from another print. It was basically, a, a, I like to think of it as a lid to a box, but it has an, an open end. But you could print anything, or even make cardboard or anything. But I just glued it over the fan opening. That way nothing can fall into the fan. It's got a wide open area for sucking air in. It's very low profile. And in my case, the old junk part I pulled out was in this translucent plastic, and I went, good. That way you can actually see if something got sucked into there or something without having to tear anything apart. And when you get the printer, the noisiest thing on the entire printer is this fan. So, yes, you could put a, an inline butt converter and slow the voltage on. It's a 24-volt fan, but it'll run clear down as low as 7 volts. But I just went out and... Uh, dug through my old junk bins and I found a 330 ohm resistor, I think it was either a half watt or a one watt, whatever. Stuck it in line with one of the wires to it and it gives the fan about 9 volts or so. Runs very quiet now. It keeps enough air moving to keep the, the TMC drivers cool, which is the only thing that gets hot inside the case anyway. And you can barely hear it run now. It's very, very silent. So. There you have it. I'll be putting the uh, files for my uh, redesign of the filament holder and for the two cubby hole holders or whatever trays, whatever you'd like to call them, that slide right into the extrusion up on Thingiverse. So, there you go.